Most people using the term Antichrist have no comprehension at all what the word Christ means. And where did it come from? And so people say, well, Christ was the, was the Messiah. No, actually, uh, the word Christ simply means oil. This is why we have something like Crisco. Crisco, the company Crisco, makes a Crisco oil. It's a cooking oil, but it's called Cristo. Actually, that's not correct. Cristo, it actually in Greek is Cristo. Cristo becomes Crisco. Well, Cristo is an oil in Greek, and so therefore, uh, uh, Crisco, well, it is a cooking oil. Uh, but it's based on Cristo, which is a Greek word, but in the Latin it becomes Crisco. And so, therefore, today we have uh, a, a cooking oil called Crisco, which is uh, Christ in Greek. So, Christ means oil. And the and I'll get back to that in just a minute about the oil. That's a whole different subject. But to have an anti-Christ, we think of anti meaning against Christ. Something which, in our language today, we say something, somebody's anti. That means he's against something. But that's not what the word in Greek means. Ask anybody who understands the Greek language. They'll tell you the word anti does not mean to be against anything. So when you say something, well, somebody was anti-Christ, well, he's against Christ. No, no. Anti in Greek means uh, to be, uh, to actually be the Christ. They are not saying they're against somebody being Christ. They want to be Christ. So it's actually, they want to be in the place of someone else. So if you're saying you're anti, uh, uh, you know, Christ, it means you're not against Christ. You want to be Christ. So it's not against, but you want to be the Christ yourself. And so I can understand why other, why, you know, I, I don't have any problem with using the term uh, Napoleon was an antichrist or Hitler was an antichrist. If you understand it correctly, what the word Christ means, it means a, a Messiah or one who is anointed for power. And that Hitler wanted to be anointed for power himself. He don't want to give it to Christ. He wants it. So, okay, well, then it doesn't mean Hitler's against Jesus. It means he wants to be Jesus. He wants to be the Christ. So in that way, I understand, okay, that, was a, that, that word makes sense, that Hitler would be an antichrist, an antichrist, not, not the because today, all over the world, all men uh, seem to want to be an anti in the original Greek use of the word, not Latin. Everybody seems to want to be what somebody else is. You know, everybody wants to be a Steven Spielberg. Well, there's only one of him, so you, you're not going to be him. Well, we want to be like Muhammad Ali. Well, yeah, but the whole human race wants to be like somebody else. And so, while that's anti in the original ancient Greek, doesn't mean you're against Muhammad Ali. It means you want to be like him. So that's what the word antichrist simply means. Somebody who wants to be like Christ. He wants to be the Christ. And so that it doesn't mean you're against anything. It just means you want to be instead of the one that is you want to be. Well, in, and, in that way, if someone were to actually be the Antichrist, they would be someone who wants to be most powerful above all, anointed precisely. for power above yeah. everyone else in place of mm -hmm. all powers. Is, is, mm -hmm. Because the, you know, indicates a singularity. Right mm -hmm. and indicates this this godlike position. So someone who actually seeks to be or is the antichrist would literally be someone who wants to be God. I guess that's exactly right. Somebody who wants to be the ultimate power in the universe and sees himself as the ultimate power in all the universe, and therefore we could say he was an antichrist. 
in the ancient Greek setting, not in the in the Latin, because anti today just simply means they'll be against. No. This mentally deranged moron who thinks that he is God, he doesn't he's not against God, he's saying he is God. And he wants to be the gods. Well then he is an anti God. He's an anti Christ. He wants to be Christ. So when you're using the word antichrist, just understand what it means, that's all. Just do your homework and see what the word actually implies.